I just woke up and I saw the last question of the PSLE math paper from yesterday and whoa, mind blown, okay? Let's get straight into it. The figure is made up of three identical equilateral triangles. Very important, they are equilateral triangles. Find the length of AB. I saw people using algebra. No, 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 no. Let's do this using models. The method that um, the PC students know, right? So let's go ahead and draw the model first. I'm going to draw a plain model right here. All right. Let's start labeling these lengths. That's 18. And we also can see that we do not know the length up to here. Okay. And we can see that the whole length here is 41, but there's a bit, a small, tiny space here that's actually only 3 centimeters. Okay, and then we can start labeling already. Okay, so let's take a look. Up to here, the length is 41 centimeters. Okay, 41 centimeters. And this one over here is 3 centimeters. Okay, no space. There we go. So I'm going to use a highlighter to show you the length of the first triangle up to here right let me use the green one to show you the length of the second triangle which is up to here right there you go up to here right and then we're going to use the purple highlighter to show you that this is the length of the third triangle so remember one thing the blue green and pink segments are all the same length because they're the same length of the equilateral triangle they are identical remember this right now how do we find the length from the way i look at it if i know what is this length the one in pink the segment here i can easily find the length of ab but i don't know that now how about the one over here the one in green do i know that no i don't how about the one next to it i also don't right so if i know these three i can easily find the answer for the length of ab so how do we do that i was looking at it i was thinking to myself how do we solve this the idea is you must remember they are all equal so notice something the first triangle and the second triangle share a common length which is this segment over here that we don't know now that's very important okay because why if you look at the blue segment right that's the length of the first triangle it is this 18 centimeters plus the unknown length right and if you look at the second triangle right you can see that the unknown length plus this segment plus that little 3 cm is going to be equal to the length of the triangle so if i were to bring down the model for the second triangle right the green one okay let me show you what it looks like it's gonna look like this okay, so remember there's an unknown right so the unknown will be up to here agree you don't know what that is okay so if you look at the length of the first triangle and you know that it's equal to the length of the second triangle what i can do is i can redraw this model the green one i bring it down right and this unknown i have no idea what it is right there's a three centimeter that's part of that length and we know there's an unknown that we share with the first triangle now i'm going to rearrange it a bit so the three centimeters is going to move to the left hand side i'm going to do a mirror image of this okay so this is the three centimeters okay i can find out the length of this because why this is 18 centimeters so if that is 18 centimeters this segment here is going to be 15 centimeters make sense there you go now remember if this is 15 this corresponds to the length over here now once i know that right it becomes very simple because we have 15 centimeters we have 3 centimeters and we have 41 centimeters you see that all i have to do is subtract the 15 and 3 from the 41 to get the segment that we want to find which is 41 minus 15 minus 3 uh, minus 18 gives you uh, 23 right 23 centimeters now this tells me this segment is 23 centimeters and with that i can find the length of ab 23 centimeters plus 3 centimeters giving us the answer of 26 centimeters that was easy okay let's go